I didn't mean for this to be a literal translation. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I just felt like sitting down, getting a little bit off my chest, and talking to you about the ugly side of being a mommy YouTuber. The ugly side of being a mommy YouTuber is feeling like it's never going to be enough. You're pouring so much of your energy, your heart and your soul into something that you're really passionate about, your YouTube channel, and feeling like you're scaling up a cliff and you're going nowhere. I was inspired to make this video in hopes that maybe it would help some of you, that some of you would walk away from this if you are a mommy YouTuber and feel a little more hopeful and feel like you're not alone in this world of just saturated, perfect, luxury, overly curated mommy content. This also isn't like a hate on anyone. This isn't a drama video. I'm not gonna be calling anyone out by name because those mommies out there who do have the time or the help or the energy to get dolled up every single day, who have houses that are just pristine white, who have all the luxury strollers and baby stuff like that's amazing that's like i mean we all follow those people because like hashtag goals right like those are the people that we love to see because we're hoping in some like small way it could maybe inspire us I feel like sometimes with this curated perfection it's so easy to compare and get down on ourselves the ugly side of being a mommy youtuber of having a YouTube channel, I think number one, it's always feeling like you're not good enough. We already have that like mom guilt that would be prevalent in our lives regardless of whether or not we had a YouTube channel and then add in this YouTube channel on top of everything else. And it's like, well, I already feel like I'm not reaching a certain goal or a certain standard in my everyday life. And now I feel like I'm certainly not reaching that goal or standard with this side project that I love doing. And it could make you feel really bad and it could make you start to feel really down on yourself. So my solution, and like here's where we get into like, hopefully the constructive part of the video or like the constructive answer to like some of these dilemmas is I try not to follow too many people who overly curate and who only put out perfect gorgeous images because as much as I love following those people I do find that mentally and for my mental health and stability it, it tends not to be a great thing for me and I like to make sure that you know if I'm following someone and they have like that perfect glistening white kitchen and their pictures all look gorgeous and professionally done then I'm following that person because there's something constructive that they're providing for me something useful that they're providing for me and that I'm not just taking from their content and not just using it as a means of putting myself down if that makes sense so that's one part of you know like not feeling good enough feeling of just not feeling good enough that can manifest in the way you put together your videos like maybe you feel like your editing isn't good enough or like you'll never be able to afford like the nicest camera or the best equipment or you feel like your house is never going to be like that magazine worthy house of white countertops and the like perfect white cabinets and whatever i'm here to tell you that that stuff like that's what it is it's just stuff there's never going to be enough stuff to like fill your heart with the desire and the satisfaction that you're looking for and that's something that i have to remind myself all the time about and i'm not like doing this to be super preachy but i feel like the more we get into like our heads about like oh I, I really wish i had this camera and for me it's like a vlogging camera i really wish i had a really good vlogging camera and i didn't just vlog on my phone because that would i don't know attract more followers or like keep people more interested like we just start coming up with all these excuses in our head about why we need this gadget or that thing or you know if i had this perfect stroller or the most luxury car seat then i could take a picture of it and then it would get more likes on instagram or whatever it is but i think it's so important to remind ourselves and i'm doing that right now i'm reminding myself that things and stuff are so temporary and like so of this world and if we focus on that stuff and and believing that that stuff is what's going to bring us joy then we'll forever be stuck in this vicious cycle of constantly wanting and constantly consuming and like never feeling like it's enough because i can tell you and as i'm saying this i'm saying it to myself 
when you reach a certain goal, maybe your goal is a thousand subscribers or you know, I don't know, 20,000 followers on Instagram or being able to purchase a certain camera. Like, like you have to reach those goals to like feel worth, self-worth. It, it'll come in that moment, like that dopamine will hit, you'll have hit that goal, you'll feel really good, but then you'll, you'll quickly, and because this is like the nature of a human, especially a human in modern times, you'll set a new goal for yourself. And so that like very short lived brief moment of relief and joy will slowly put that to the side and think like, okay, well that was fine, but now I'm setting my eyes on this other goal. And I think, you know, there's a difference between setting goals and staying driven and being a very ambitious person, which I think are all really healthy things and using that stuff, almost like self-sabotaging yourself with that with those thoughts and and self-sabotaging all of the wonderful things you've accomplished by then telling yourself that well okay I hit those goals but now they don't mean as much or they don't mean anything and I have to reach these goals and so that's a cycle that I find myself getting stuck in a lot especially in like this mommy youtuber community because I always feel like I'm striving to hit the next goal I'm striving to hit the next goal but it's not enough and it's not enough and it's not enough and I have to stop myself and be like girl breathe girl it's not that serious. Also, like, be here now. Be here now. Appreciate what you have now. Live in what you have now because this is all you have. There's, like, no such thing as the future. There, like, everything is just now. It's just now. So that's, I hope that that provides a little bit of encouragement or clarity if you are feeling the same. Another thing about, like, being a mommy YouTuber that I just wanted to get off my chest is, like, this pressure that I put on myself and please let me know in the comments if you put it on yourself sorry I have crutches here that keep my my foot is broken <laughs> just throwing just like that's the cherry on top of the cake on top of everything else it's like also my foot's broken um my toddler is taking a nap my foot's broken I'm just trying to like get this work in you know just trying to get it done because I got no other time to and that's another thing is a lot of the times you know, we're, we're trying to do 85 things at once. And whether you're a stay-at-home mom or working mom, like there still doesn't feel like there's ever enough time in the day. And I feel like when you're pouring so much of your heart and soul, all of your, like this time right now, if I didn't have a broken foot, I would be cleaning or I'd be putting things away, doing laundry. And like, there would always be something to do. Broken foot is a little bit of a blessing because it's made me slow down a lot. But I feel like that time that we take away from doing those household chores or that time we take away from being with family or friends we put into our youtube channel and then there's more of a stake in it because we're like okay i'm not seeing the growth i want i'm not making the money that i want i'm not getting the sponsorships that i want i'm not i can't afford the giveaways that i want to give out to my lovely followers and I'm doing all of that at the expense of spending time with my family and I feel like I have nothing to show for it. And that's that's really hard. That's a really, really hard thing to feel and, and to think because if this is your joy and this is your passion, then putting that much pressure on it, putting all of that pressure on it can be really soul sucking. <laughs> be really hard uh, because all that time and that energy that you could have been with your family you were devoting to youtube and honestly i don't know what the right answer is to that i think it's just finding a balance it's finding the compromise between what you can get done during what times and how much energy and how much time you're willing to devote to your youtube channel knowing that what you're putting into it depending on what goals you set for yourself may not be what you're getting from it. And I actually liken it a lot to that newborn stage when you have a newborn, if you have a newborn, you know, the first like, oh, I don't know, first at least four months where your baby isn't able to smile yet and isn't really able to reciprocate a lot of emotion or feelings. And it's really, really hard. You're pouring your like everything into this baby and you're probably sleep deprived and you're exhausted and recovering from labor and delivery and you just feel like you're giving 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 and not getting anything back and i liken that a lot to growing a youtube channel trying to find your footing in this like really saturated market and just feeling like oh gosh i'm pouring so much of my heart and soul into this but i'm not getting anything back and like I said, I think it's all about balance and that's like the best advice I could give if you were feeling that like that, that ugliness in you, like if you're feeling like that is what is really 
disheartening about this, then I hope that moving forward, trying to find the balance between give and take, hope that that provides you the encouragement that you need to continue doing what you're doing because at the end of the day if this brings you joy look at my hair if this brings you joy then you should keep doing it you should keep doing it because anything that brings you joy will continue to spread out and to create this like gorgeous web of other beautiful joyous things to come into your life and i i fully 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 believe in like the law of attraction and the more like love and joy and peace you put out the more you'll gain in return i just think sometimes we're impatient humans and we're like i want to see this and i want to see it now and i'm thinking rich i'm thinking money why am i not seeing it um and i think it's all a journey one book that i really really love um, it's Not Your Money by Tasha Silver. That book is fantastic. If you want like the best book on like the law of attraction, but in like a very practical, like, no nonsense, gorgeous way, definitely check out her book. I'll link it down below. I can't, I can't recommend it enough. It's like my favorite, favorite, favorite nonfiction book. Okay guys, I've been talking now for quite some time and these are just the things I wanted to get off my chest. I don't know if this video made any sense or connected to anyone out there. This might just be like a, a one person problem. And also like totally recognizing how much of a champagne problem this is too. Like to have, to, to start a YouTube channel, to have subscribers, to put out content, like all of that stuff comes off the heels of being in a privileged position to even be able to have the confidence in yourself to put yourself out there, but then also having the equipment to do so, computer, phone, like all of that stuff. And I don't want that stuff to go unseen and unrecognized because without any of those things, like this couldn't happen. We're in a similar position as me and you have an entrepreneurial spirit, but feel sometimes a little bit lost in this like vast ocean of endless YouTube channels, mommy YouTubers, like I'm here with you and I see you, I hear you. Anyway, I'm just sending a lot of love out to you. If you found this video at all inspiring, <laughs> helpful. I hope it was helpful. Give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. I make a lot of mommy and YouTube. I make a lot of mommy and lifestyle content. Um, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye guys.